Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ficus OS 6.1 on the N2560 NAS, 2-bay NAS device. I have pre previously given a tutorial over the Ficus OS 6 on the N2310 NAS, so what I'm going to do in this video is focus on what's different in this particular NAS for the N2560. So if you want a more in-depth look at the features, then definitely take a look at the Ficus OS 6 tutorial that we did. Without further ado though, let's log in to the admin panel. We click on admin, default username is admin, and default password is admin. Click login. And that brings you into a simple management screen here with Ficus OS up here. We have a system log at quick access. We have a help file quick access. And right here, you can change the password for the account you're logged in, the language, see the version that you're running, or log out. You can also search the NAS for various things using a string here check out the folders that you have shared and what you're going to notice is that it shows you which raid they're on and what the file system is as well as whether the folder is public or not and a little description so in here you can add a folder remove folders share a folder using samba and also you have your raid management button under your raid management button, this is the same here. What we uh, what we see is our raid, our status, the disks that are used, and the total capacity and our status as far as what's being used and how much room we have. You can also edit the uh, the raid here by clicking edit. In this case we're not really going to want to mess with it because it's an existing raid and we don't want to mess it up. This is where you would remove the raid though to break the raid if you're going to move these drives somewhere else. Of course breaking the raid means you lose your data. So definitely back up any data that you want off of the drives before you break the raid. This little button here brings you into the control panel for the NAS. You get all kinds of great information. One of the things to note here is that you have an LED controller for being able to turn the Ficus logo on the side LED on or off. Personally, I'd like it off because so it's not flashing um, in my office. And you have login functions, a system monitor, hardware information, way to set to factory default, power management. All this stuff is the same as on the N2310, as well as your file sharing, your network services, Ficus ID. Ficus ID is the free DDNS service that Ficus offers to allow you to access a dynamic IP over um, the internet. You also have your application server. This is where things are a little bit different. You have a few apps that are offered here that are not offered on the N2310. In particular, we're talking about the XBMC application, which is a media appli player application. So if you install this, you'll be able to use the HDMI port on the N2560 to be able to stream movies to your TV directly from your NAS device. That's not to say that you can't stream through another device to your TV over the network. This NAS definitely has plenty of power to do that as well. Of course you have lots of other uh, utilities here. For example, Dropbox to synchronize your NAS with your Dropbox. You have a virus scan app that's provided for free powered by McAfee. Of course you can run a web server off of it, BitTorrent, Downloader, etc. 
app installation, this button that we went into at first is where you would actually install an application if you had downloaded it off the App Center, which there's a link for right here on the Ficus website. Some other things is Amazon S3. You have compatibility with Amazon S3 on this device, so you can actually back up your NAS to in the Amazon Cloud if you are using their web services. That's pretty much what's different in the N2560. So if you would like a more in-depth view over certain features, definitely like I said, check out the Ficus OS 6 tutorial where I went through all of the access control and setting up the networking and file sharing privileges, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial of what's different in the N2560 NAS interface. And for the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.